Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So I would like to go over um, what I expect for you to complete during Monday's class. You will have a sub on Monday. So here are your instructions. First, you will complete your thought question. It is on Canvas. It says to copy the entire question into your document and answer in your own words. You actually have five questions to answer. Get you thinking about living on minimum wage, and what it means to be poor, um, the relationship between your health and poverty. Think about when we played that IATI game last week and how health really impacted their um, poverty level. Then you're going to watch a video. It's called 30 Days Minimum Wage. It's by Morgan Spurlock. Um, he's the gentleman who did Super Size Me. So some of you might have watched that in health class over the years. But he and his fiance are going to attempt to live just by making minimum wage for 30 days. And you get to see how that experiment works out. There's a worksheet to complete along with the video. So while you're watching the video, you can work on the worksheet. But no Chromebooks during the video, please. Then after you're finished with the video and the worksheet, there's a follow-up assignment on Canvas. The follow-up assignment is called 30 Days Follow-Up. And it asks you three main questions. How would you handle the stress? What would happen in a family situation? And then why might um, certain problems be common amongst the working poor? Once you're finished with that, there's another great simulation um, called Play Spent. The assignment can be found on Canvas again. You'll play through the game and then answer the follow-up questions. You can play the game multiple times if you would like. Make sure you're reading the instructions so that you can get into the game properly and play it. You're going to be living for a month, making a very limited salary, and having to make some choices along the way. So play through the game at least once and then answer the questions, but you can play multiple times if you would like. Finally, you do have a homework assignment. Your homework is the WISE study guide. Um, the WISE test study guide is something that we'll be using often over the next few weeks. So this is your first use of it. The assignment is on Canvas, where it tells you to make a copy of the study guide link. So it'll, it'll actually make you force you to make a copy when you click on that. Then you're going to pick 10 terms and define the terms right there on the document. So the study guide looks like this. Starts off with a breakdown of the percentages of what's covered on the test. And then you start getting into the terms. So pick 10 terms that you already know the answers to, like barter. We did that one on Friday. Um, you know inflation. You also may know opportunity cost. That was something that we covered first semester. So you can do that as well. Um, there are several different sections. So find 10 words that you already know, or at least start with words that you know, and then add to them additional words until you get to 10. You don't have to do all these terms today. Just get 10 done and then up, upload your entire document to your homework assignment. Make sure you upload that document. Um, you want to keep this study guide as we're going to be adding to it all term long. So this copy of your study guide becomes your study guide for the WISE test in January. If you guys have any questions, um, talk to your sub. I'm not sure which class has who, but Ms. Hernandez and Mr. Emery are on. Um, slated to be subbing for you guys. So you can ask them any questions. You can email me, but I'll be traveling much of Monday, so I may not be able to respond to emails, but we will get all caught back up on Tuesday. I will see everyone on Tuesday, and I hope you have a fantastic class.